So today I'm talking about a P0497 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0497 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system low purge flow. And what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and sends them up to the engine to get burnt off so that they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And when you get a P0497 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this. Mainly when it goes to purge the gas vapors into the engine, that the flow's not correct for some reason. But so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this, there can be different things going on inside of the EVAP system. The components can be designed differently and different things like this. So if you are going to work on your system, it's a good idea to get a diagram of what's going on inside of the system and all the different components involved. But the basics of what's going on inside of an EVAP system is that the gas vapor is going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose and they're going to go over to what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. Either combined with the charcoal canister or located right next to it is going to be what's called a vent valve. When the vent valve does different things, the computer can use it to test the system. It'll close the vent valve and then check to see what the pressure is inside the system to see if there's any leaks or things like this. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the engine compartment and there's going to be what's called a purge valve. And basically the purge valve just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so that they don't escape. And so that's a real basic overview of what's going on inside of the EVAP system. Like I said, if you are going to work on your vehicle, be sure to get a diagram to know exactly what's going on. But that's a basic overview of how they work. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0497 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve or the wiring going to the purge valve. If anything goes wrong with that purge valve or the wiring going to it, it's not going to work correctly. and That's going to cause a problem. These purge valves can be located differently, but they will be located inside the engine compartment somewhere. One hose is going to be going down to the charcoal canister, and the gas vapor is going to be coming in on it. And then when the computer tells it to open, all those gas vapors are going to go into the intake and then into the engine to be burnt off. There's some different ways to go about testing that purge valve. These purge valves are normally closed. So if you take it off and you remove it and you try to blow through it and you can blow through it, then you know it's bad. You could then add power to it and it should open and then you should be able to blow through it. I made a video on how you go about testing these purge valves. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve. Also keep in mind that if anything's wrong with the wiring going to the purge valve, like an open, a short, there's a bad connection, something like this, then that's going to cause problems. So if you do go to check out that purge valve, keep in mind that wiring can also cause issues. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve or the wiring going to the purge valve. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue with the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. It just holds all the gas vapors inside of there when the engine's not running and things like this. There's a lot of little charcoal pellets inside of there. And if those get all clogged up and there's some kind of issue going on there where the gas vapors can't flow through, then that's going to cause problems because those gas vapors can't flow up to the purge valve. So if you go test out that purge valve and the purge valve is working the way it's supposed to be working, the next thing to go and check out is going to be that charcoal canister. There's some good videos on how you go about testing the charcoal canister, but the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue with the charcoal canister. The next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure sensor. Basically, there's a pressure sensor inside of the system, and this is where the computer is getting all its information back about what's going on inside of the system. And so if there's some kind of issue with that sensor, there might not be no problem inside of the system, but, but the computer thinks there is and because it's getting bad information. And so if everything else is testing good and you can't seem to figure out what the issue is, it is a good idea to go test that pressure sensor. These can be located differently. Sometimes they're located like this right on the fuel pump. Sometimes they're located on top of the gas tank and sometimes they're located inside the charcoal canister. So you will need to get a diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure where that sensor is located. When those pressure sensors fail, usually they'll give another code. Not all the time. Sometimes it will have an issue and the computer doesn't realize it. But quite often you will get another code. For example, right here, P0452, evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch low. So if you are getting a pressure sensor code, it's a good idea to go check out that pressure sensor first because there might not be no other problem inside the system, but the computer just thinks there is. The next thing that could cause this is that there's an evap leak inside the system somewhere. Then that can also cause problems. But again, usually when you have an EVAP leak, you're going to get another code. So for example, you might get like a P0455, evaporative emission system leak detected, gross leak, no flow. Or you might get like a P0456, evaporative emission system leak detected, very small leak, or something along these lines. 
If you are getting these leak detected codes, that could be kind of hard to troubleshoot. One of the first things to go and check with any EVAP leak is go check the gas cap because if that gas cap doesn't seal up correctly, then that's going to cause problems. It'll cause a leak inside the system. It can be kind of difficult to find an EVAP leak inside the system. I made some videos on that. If you need to check that out, I'll put a link down below for that also. But the last thing on the list is going to be an EVAP leak. And like I said, usually you'll get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0497 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.